Hello, this is Chris Beasley again, and this is the second video in a series of videos about the Sequence Wizard. The Sequence Wizard is a feature found in, a, in Framework. You click on Experiment menu, and click on the Sequence Wizard, and it loads it up. As I explained in the first video, uh, the Sequence Wizard is a great way to string together a series of experiments, or loop a series of experiments for uh, time, cycle number, or your user-defined variable. As we can see, the last sequence that I ran was the basic sequence, where I simply ran uh, open circuit potential, polarization resistance, and potentially static EIS. This video is going to use the feature for looping. So I want to clear out the sequence, and now I want to set up a sequence. Initially, I group my data files so that they all fall into the same folder. Here I'm going to name that uh, cycle test or loop test or whatever you want to name your folder. Click OK. Now I want to loop based on a cycle and then I would like to run a cyclic voltammetry followed by a potentiostatic static EIS. And what I have hooked up to my potentiostat right now is a 3 farad cap. So under PHE 200, I'm going to select cyclic voltammetry, and then I'm going to select potentially static EIS. So I can drag these right into the loop, or if I were selected on the loop, any experiment that I click falls into that loop. Now one of the nice features about the uh, gamma sequence wizard is that you can move experiments around. So if you wanted to first run potentially static EIS, you could put that um, outside, you can drag it outside the loop, you can drag it back in the loop, you can drag it before cyclic voltammetry. Um, these experiments are easy to move around. And one of the things that I noticed is that I want to start uh, my cyclic voltammogram at the open circuit potential so that we don't get a current spike. But I see I forgot to add that into my uh, sequence, so initially I want to double click on open circuit, and I'm going to drag it in front of the uh, loop. That way, throughout the loop, it's going to start uh, at the open circuit potential. So we're going to loop based on cycle. Let's say we want to run this cycle, uh, this loop, 10 times. I simply click on 10. And then I set up my C parameters, uh, just like you would for a normal standalone experiment. So I'm going to start at open circuit. I'm going to go 1 volt positive, and then I'm going to run back the open circuit. Uh, scan rate would be what your typical scan rate might be. And the rest of the parameters are just like an individual experiment. So now I'm going to click OK. And then I'm going to click on the potentially static EIS also and you would set this experiment up just like you would normally. I click OK. And now I can click Run Sequence, and this will run the sequence that you see here. First it's going to run an open circuit, and then it's going to run a loop 10 times based on uh, running CV and potentially static EIS. And you'll notice one of the, another nice feature about the Sequence Wizard is that if I just hover over an experiment name, the setup parameters pop up for you to take a quick glance at. And so now when I click Run Sequence, there, we're going to run the series of steps that are outlined. We can see that the software has automatically selected the first available potential stat. I click OK, and the experiment starts running. So first it was going to run the open circuit. And just to move things along, I'm going to click Skip so that we can move into the loop itself. Now we can see the setup window uh, has that we're looping based on a cycle. We're in the first cycle of 10, and the first step in that cycle is cyclic voltammetry. Once this experiment finishes, then it's going to move on to sub-step 2, which would be the potentially static EIS that we saw earlier. And so we can see that the cyclic voltammogram is just about finished, and we're going to move on to step 2, which is potentially static EIS. And once potentially static EIS 
finishes, then we move into cycle 2 of 10, and we start again with cyclic voltammetry. So this is a simple explanation of how you would set up a sequence using the loops. If you have any questions while using the sequence wizard, click on the help button to bring up a nice interactive help file. Initially it'll tell you a bit about the user interface if you click on here and it'll talk to you about available steps and how you can use the steps within certain categories of the sequence wizard. Once you're comfortable with that you can click on continue on to your first sequence and it'll walk you through generating your sequence steps.